Whiten Mountains is a national park located in New South Wales, Australia, 291 kilometers west of Sydney. It is a small, crescent-shaped range, with a high point some 750 meters AHD running roughly north-south with steep cliffs on the eastern side sloping more gradually down to the plain in the west. Whiten Mountains is a small patch of remnant vegetation which escaped clearing due to its ruggedness. Many aircraft pass overhead on their way from Sydney to Adelaide, is part of the Lachlan Fold system and is wire jury country. Ben Hall, who plundered the Forbes Grenfell area in the 1850s used the Weddon Mountains as a refuge. He holed up in a cave on the northwest side of the park with his gang, which included Johnny Gilbert and Frank Gardner. It is rumored Ben Hall buried a treasure here that has not yet been located. There is a walk around Seton's historic farm, which is now part of the National Park. Seton's farm is how one man and his wife turned every bit of wire into something useful. Jim Seton handmade 3 km slash 1. 8 miles of kangaroo-proof fence by hand, with posts of local saplings, which are rot and vermin-proof. The property was occupied in the late 1920s and during the Depression it was set up as a farm. Times in the land were hard and the buildings represent this. The sheds have walls made from flattened corrugated iron so that it stretched further. One of the sheds is full of old wire, iron sheets, bottles, everything you can imagine. All the old machinery is still there, sitting where it was when the family sold the property to the government in the 1980s. A unique place, showing how the less well-off farmers did it in the early and mid-1900s. There are 216 species of animals recorded in Weddon Mountains National Park, the vast majority of which are birds. The species list includes three types of wallaby one of which is the endangered brush-tailed rock wallaby. The species list also includes painted honeyeater, swift parrot, little lorikeet and turquoise parrot. Pest species seen in the park are cats, rabbits, foxes, goats and sheep. The park is part of the southwest slopes of NSW Important Bird Area, identified as such by BirdLife International because of its importance for the conservation of swift parrots and superb parrots. Whiten Mountains National Park is most often approached from Grenfell. Traveling west from Grenfell on the Midwestern Highway there are signed posts to Holy Camp and Ben Hall's Cave. The Google Earth route from Grenfell guides drivers along Euladry Road which ends at a farm 2 kilometers from the park with farmland in between. Near Seton's farm is Ben Hall's camping and picnic area with well-designed fireplace slash barbecues, large enough to permit the use of camp ovens, your own barbecue or for an open fire as well as having its own barbecue plate. It is a short walk from here to Ben Hall's Cave. Holy Camp. Picnic and Basic Camping Ground. Holy Camp is 19 kilometers southwest of Grenfell, coordinates 33 degrees 53 52 s 148 degrees 0 10 e, Thalathat with 897,857 degrees south 148. 0 2 901 degrees e, minus 33. 897,857, 148. 0 2 901. The last three. 8 kilometers are dirt road. It is one of the entrances to the park with a pit toilet, parking area, picnic tables and fireplaces. Camping is allowed. There is a small water tank filled from the toilet roof but don't rely on it. From here it is possible to walk to Yuldry and Peregrine lookouts. There is much wildlife in and around the car park including lace monitors and skinks by day and brushtail possums and owlet nightjars by night. Signboard in Holy Camp Advertising Walk Looking Northeast from Peregrine Lookout Above Holy Camp. Yuldry Trig Above Holy Camp The Yuldry Walking Trail leads from Holy Camp and is advertised as a 2. 6 km 2. 5 hour return trip passing through Peregrine Lookout which takes 1. 5 hours return. This was tested as 30 minutes to Peregrine Lookout, 23 minutes more to the Cairn at the summit and 40 minutes return. Peregrine Lookout is south of the car park and from there the path turns back on itself as it proceeds upward so that the cairn at the summit is a little north of the car park. The path appears to continue past the cairn at Juradri Trig and can be followed down to Ben Hall's Cave. This small range is mentioned in a surprising number of publications. Two of note are A West Country Ballad which refers to a bounty hunter who unsuccessfully tried to capture Gardner in the Weddon Mountains and robbery under arms where Weddon Mountains gets a mention as a hideout. Thanks for watching.